Hey Summit members, today I wanted to share with you five tips that I have for finding water while you're out in the backcountry. So tip number one, uh, proper planning. So using your topographic maps and seeking out your water sources ahead of time can be extremely useful and um, prevent those unfortunate instances when you can't find water and you really need it. So study your maps, plan in advance, and seek out your water sources ahead of time. Tip number two, always carry a water filtration system or water purifying tablets with you at all times. So that way when you do come across a water source, um, you can make sure that it's clean and drinkable. Tip number three, don't overlook the value of snow. So if there is um, clean snow around, you can melt it and use it for water, especially important in alpine and um, winter conditions. So fuel syst uh, stove system and fuel to melt snow will be useful if you'll be hiking in snowy areas. Um, Tip number four, if an emergency situation, you can always wring dew from vegetation with an article of clothing or, or a cloth or a bandana. So um, not ideal, but you can do it in an emergency situation. Tip number five, if you can get to an elevated spot um, in the area through which you're hiking, um, and use it to kind of survey the land. The best time to do that is mid-morning or early evening, and then you're most likely to catch those glints of blue water off in the distance, which can help pinpoint you towards a possible water source. Um, so to recap, uh, five tips for finding water when you're in the backcountry. Tip number one, um, use topographic maps and uh, plan your trip in advance. So. Plan out um, your water points, even if they're just rough estimates of where you're going. Tip number two, always carry a water filter or water tablets for purifying the water sources you find. Tip number three, don't overlook the value of snow. You can always melt it and turn it into water. Um, tip number four, um, you can wring dew from vegetation using a bandana or an article of clothing. and Finally, if you can get to an elevated area, a great way to find water is to survey that area during mid-morning or early evening times when you're most likely to reveal any water glints in the distance. So I hope you found these tips helpful and I will see you next time. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to hiking and backpacking, I just wanted to recommend that you check out our Adventure Academy Summit, where you'll find everything you need to know to learn how to become a safe and confident hiker. In Summit, we have tons of video courses, eBooks, and downloadable cheat sheets. We also do weekly live webinars where you can get any questions that you might have on a variety of subjects answered in real time. Summit also comes with a really convenient mobile app which includes sort of a mini Facebook for all of its members uh, built into the platform. So you can connect with other adventure junkies in your area um, at your convenience. It's really cool. Um, if you want to give it a chance, um, check it out and go to the adventurejunkies.com forward slash academy or click the link in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in Summit.